This video is going to be about how you can get potato graphics for Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2 in any ultra low end PC or laptop. I am also showing about best NVIDIA profile inspector. Settings to boost FPS. So guys welcome to my channel if this you are first time here so please make sure to subscribe my channel for more content we are so much close to hit for thousand subscribers so please make sure to subscribe my channel so without wasting any time let's dive into the video. In the very first step you need to simply download this pack link available in description box go to my website and download this pack from here. After downloading this pack follow me for settings first of all open up this AMD reg optimization folder and execute this AMD graphics registry key research in your PC this is for AMD GPU users. After that go for the storage tweaks folder and run this HDD and SDD tweak in your PC it helps you to clear all junk files from your computer. After that go for this delete game user settings folder and run this delete game user file in your PC it helps you to delete all unnecessary game user files. Now go for this FPS booster CMD folder and run this FPS booster and remove runtime broker batch file as admin it helps you to optimize your windows for gaming. Now open up this NVIDIA Profile Inspector folder and run this NVIDIA Profile Inspector after that first of all browse your Fortnite game here and hit enter. Now scroll down to Anti-Aliasing tab and click on this Anti-Aliasing Transparency Super Sampling and set here 0 x 7 times 0 8 AA Mode Replay Mode All. After that scroll down to Texture Filtering tab and click on this Texture Filtering Driver Control LOD Bias by default it's turn on so simply turn it off. Now click on this texture filtering LOD bias DX and set here 3.0 DLL after that also set 3.0 on this texture filtering LOD bias OGL and simply click on apply changes button. Now press windows button and type here system configurations and hit enter now go on boot tab here you can see the advanced options simply click on it and select your highest number of processor I have for number of processor so I am selecting it simply click ok hit apply and click ok after that your screen will ask you to restart your PC so simply restart it. I hope this video is helpful for you so please make sure to subscribe my channel for more content and like this video.